Butterflies are insects. Adult butterflies have large, often brightly colored wings and conspicuous fluttering flights. The group comprises a large superfamily, Papillonidae, which contains at least one former group. These keepers, formerly the superfamily Hesperodea, and the most recent analysis suggests it also contains the moth butterflies, formerly the Hedylodea. Butterfly fossils date to the Paleocene about 56 million years ago. Butterflies have four stage life cycle. As like most insects, they undergo complete metamorphosis. Winged adults lay eggs on the food plant on which their larvae, known as caterpillars, will feed. The caterpillars grow, sometimes very rapidly, and when fully developed, pupate in a chrysalis. When metamorphosis is complete, the pupa skin splits. The adult insects climbs out and after its wings have expanded and dried, it flies off. Some butterflies, especially in the tropics, have several generations in a year, while others have a single generation, and a few in cold locations may take several years to pass through their entire life cycle. Butterflies are often polymorphic and many species make use of camouflage, mimicry, and aposematism to evade their predators. Some, like the monarch and the painted lady, migrate over long distances. Many butterflies are attacked by parasites or parasitoids including wasps, protozoans, flies and other intervertebrates or as preyed upon by other organisms. Some species are pests because in their larva stages they can damage to messy crops or trees. Other species are agents or pollination of some plants. Larvae of a few butterflies, example harvesters, eat harmful insects and a few are predators of ants while others live as mutualists in association with ants. Culturally, the butterflies are a popular motif in the visual and literary arts. The Smithsonian Institution says, Butterflies are certainly one of the most appealing creatures in the nature. Butterfly adults are characterized by their four scaled covered wings, which give the Lepidopter a their name, an ancient Greek. These scales give butterfly wings their color. They are pigmented with melanins that give them blacks and browns, as well as uric acid derivatives and flavonoids that give them yellows. But many of the blues, greens, reds, and iridescent colors are created by structural coloration produced by the microstructures of the scales and hairs. As in all insects, the body is divided into three sections, the head, thorax, and abdomen. The thorax is composed of three segments, each with a pair of legs. In most families of butterfly, the antennae are clapped, unlike those of moths, which may be thread-like or feathery. The long proboscis can be coiled when not in use for sipping nectar from flowers. Nearly all butterflies are diurnal, have relatively bright colors and hold their wings vertically above their bodies when at rest. Unlike the majority of moths which fly by night are often cryptically colored or well camouflaged and either hold their wings flat, touching the surface in which the moth is standing or fold them closely over their bodies. 
Some day flying moths, such as the hummingbird hawk moth, are exceptions to these rules. Butterfly larvae, caterpillars, have a hard, sclerotized head with strong mandibles used for cutting their foods, most often leaves. They have cylindrical bodies with tense segments to the abdomen, generally with short prolegs and segments, 3 to 6 and 10. The three pairs of true legs in the thorax have five segments each. Many are camouflaged. Others are posematic with bright colors and bristly projections containing toxic chemicals obtained from their food plants. The pupa of chrysalis, unlike that of moths, is not wrapped in a cocoon. Many butterflies are sexually dimorphic. Most butterflies have the ZW sex determination system where females are the heterogametic sex and males are homogametic sex. Butterflies are distributed worldwide except Antarctica. Totally some 18,500 species or this. 775 are nearctic. 7,700 are neotropical. 1,575 were polyarctic, 3,650 afrotropical, and 4,800 are distributed across the combined Oriental and Australian Oceania regions. The monarch butterfly is a native to the Americas, but in the 19th century or before, spread across the world and is now found in Australia, New Zealand, other parts of the Senya and the Iberian Peninsula. It is not clear how it dispersed. Adults may have been blown by the wind or larvae or pupae, may have been accidentally transported by humans, but the presence of suitable host plants in their new environment was a necessity for their successful establishment. Many butterflies, such as the Painted Lady Monarch, and several the name migrate for long distances. These migrations takes place over a number of generations and no single individual completes the whole trip. The eastern North American population of monarchs can travel thousands of miles southwest to overwintering sites in Mexico. There is a reverse migration in the spring. It has recently been shown that the British Painted Lady undertakes a 9,000 mile round trip in a series of steps by up to six successive generations from tropical Africa to the Arctic Circle, almost double the length of the famous migration undertaken by the monarch. Butterflies navigate using a time-compensated sun compass. They can see polarized eye light and therefore orient even in cloudy conditions. The polarized light near the ultraviolet spectrum appears to be particularly important to them. Many migratory butterflies live in semi-arid areas where breeding seasons are short. The life histories of their host plants are also influenced butterfly behavior, wherein their adult stage can live from a week to nearly a year depending on the species. Many species have long larval life stages and while others can remain dormant in their pupal or egg stages and thereby survive winters. Butterflies may have one or more broods per year. The number of generation per year varies from temperate to tropical regions with tropical regions showing a trend towards multivoltinism. Courtship is often aerial and other involves pheromones. Butterflies then land on the ground or on a perch to mate. Copulation takes place tail to tail and may last from minutes to hours. Simple photoreceptor cells located at the genitals of the butterflies are important for this and other adult behaviors. Usually, the male butterflies passes a spermatophore to the female butterflies. To reduce sperm competition, he may cover her with his scent or in some species such as the Apollos, plugs her genital opening to prevent her from mating again. The vast majority of butterflies are four stage of life. 
egg, larva which is the caterpillar, pupa which is the chrysalis, and imago which is the adult. In the genera Polias, Ereba, Euclid, and Parnassus, it is a small number of species which are known that reproduce semi parthenogenetically when the female dies a partially developed larva emerges from her abdomen. Butterfly eggs are protected by a hard rich outer layer of shell called the corian. This is lined with a thick coating of wax which prevents the egg from drying out before the larva has had to fully develop. Each egg contains a number of tiny funnel shaped openings at one end called micropiles. The purpose of this hole is to allow sperm to enter and fertilize the egg. Butterfly eggs vary greatly in size and shape between species but are usually upright and finely sculptured. Some species lay eggs singly, others in batches. Many females produce between 100 and 200 eggs. Butterfly eggs are fixed to a leaf with a special glue which hardens rapidly. As it hardens, it contracts deforming the shape of the egg. This glue is easily seen surrounding the base of every egg forming a meniscus. The nature of the glue has been little research but in the case of Pieris brassicae, it begins as a pale yellow granular secretion containing acidophilic proteins. Eggs are almost invariably laid on plants. Each species of butterfly has its own host plant range and while some species of butterfly are restricted to just one species of plants. Butterfly larvae or caterpillars consume plant leaves and spend practically all of their time searching for and eating food. Although